Hello there everyone. Today my talk is about Christ-centeredness. So what is Christ-centeredness? Christ-centeredness is about everything that we do. Jesus will be in the middle. How do we achieve this? Does it mean attending church regularly once a week? What should you do? the rest of the week? If your corporate worship is the only time you spend with God, then you are not living a Christ-centered life. Please do not give an open door to Satan and demons to attack and afflict you. I found out from the testimonies of ex-Satanists that the devil and demons are not so much worried about worldly people. Why? Because they belong to them. The ones they love to attack are nominal Christians. Why is this? Because according to the testimonies, the dedicated Christians have the light of Jesus surrounding them thus preventing demon attack in their lives. But the rest who call themselves Christians but are lukewarm because they do not spend enough time in prayer in their private life, they become a sport for the devil and demons. So they will afflict you with strife, stress, poverty and diseases. Christians, did you know that Christians should not suffer the same diseases as the worldly people? But we tend to do. Did you know that by the finished work of Jesus on the cross, we do not need to suffer like the world, especially sickness and diseases? Sickness, diseases and poverty are the tools Satan uses. When you get these attacks, recognize them for what they are. Take authority over them and refuse to accept it in your body. I want to recommend you a book by a dear brother called Novel Haze. The book is called How to Live and Not Die. Read this book and it will change your outlook on life. I tell you, it would tell you who you are in Christ. The book will tell you who you are in Christ. Spend more time with God in your personal life. In other words, Worship God every day in private so that you can be equipped with spiritual power against the enemy. The devil will not have the green light to attack you. You see, when we belong to God, we need to have communion with him 24-7. This is called a God-centeredness life. Now the question is, how long should you spend each time with God? Well, I would recommend a minimum of 30 minutes to one hour a day. The devil and demons will leave you alone if you do this every day. Your aches, pains and headaches. Please be informed that aches and pains and headaches come from demons. Do not reach for your medicine cabinet, but speak to these ailments, they will obey you. Send them packing, in other words, in Jesus' name. Say that I do not want you, I know that uh, demons afflicting my headache, my body, my aches. I speak to you in Jesus' name. Leave my body right now in Jesus' name. 
But if you turn to your medicine cabinet, you'd be caught in a catch-22 situation. That is, you'd become addicted to these medications which do not help you, but you think that you need them. Do you know why many Christians have the same problems as the worldly people? Because we do not know who we are in Christ. Spend time in prayer every day. Remember Jesus gave us an example of this, of his prayer life. The Gospels tells us that, that he goes early every morning to spend time in prayer every day, all the time. This is what gives us the victory in Christ, prayer. I am recommending to you that take Jesus with you wherever you go. By this, I mean to your workplace, to your schools, colleges, universities. universities. Don't be ashamed of him. Do you know why? Because Jesus is seeking to draw all men to him. Let your life be an epistle known and read by all. In business, let the Holy Spirit be your senior partner. Everything you do, you need to consult the Holy Spirit for guidance. This is what, what we are told in Proverbs 3 verses 1 to 4. So my brothers and my sisters, spend time with God every day to worship and praise Him for His goodness towards us. In fact, I would even go further to say that when you spend your one hour time with the Lord to worship Him for who He is, in the afternoon you lift up your hands to Him and say, Lord, thank you if you're sick in your body to say, Lord, thank you for sending your word to heal me. I thank you for sending your word to heal my body. And also at night time, do the same before you go to bed. And you will see the morn morning, noon and night, your voice is raising to God and he will soon come through for you. Remember that in Psalm 100, 1 to 5, requires us to do this. Make the time every day to do it. You'd find your life changed for the better. And also remember to pray for other people as well as yourself, to praise God for his guidance in their lives and protection. Once you do this every day, I promise you that Satan and demons will leave you alone and God will manifest to you and you will see your life changed for the better. So my brothers and my sisters, thank you so much for watching this video and Bye for now.